And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Skellington! Anyway, Kingdom Hearts. Right. I like how uh, this guy's mouth moves like it does in the actual film. That's like stop yeah. motion effect, even though it's 2D. Thank you. Thank you. I love this world. Yeah. This is such a cool it's world. So Nightmare Elves. I keep saying Nightmare Elves. I love this. This is so great. I love the juxtaposition of like this, all this scary imagery with the fact that these characters are actually fairly benign. Yeah. Also, Danny Elfman music. Also, they justify these costumes by saying that Donald's magic created costumes for them. <laughs> They're really good costumes, though. I like them a lot. I do like the costumes that they have in this world. Yeah. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, the final mix, when you're in Christmas Town, they transform they transform Sword's outfit to a black Santa outfit. Oh, wow. And Donald get and Donald gets like a an un. A Doofy gets an undead reindeer, and I forget what Donald gets. So... This whole plot is that Jack Skellington thinks it'd be really cool if the Heartless danced during the Halloween festival. Okay. So, he wants to make a heart to control the Heartless. And Sora's like, you know what, fuck it, if he succeeds, we don't have to fight the Heartless in this world, so why not? <laughs> it makes things easy. My, that was amazing. Uh, and you are... It's amazing that your key fit that Sora. lock. Well done, Sora. I'd like That's you. amazing, don't you think, amazing. Sam? What a season. Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I love that no one in this town takes the Heartless seriously because they're in Halloween Town and they're just kind of used to that kind of thing happening. They're like, oh, these guys are so cute how they try to be scary and corrupt. Yeah. That's like our whole stick. <laughs> That's exactly how Jack treats them, though. He's like, this is my life, man. Whatever. <laughs> I am the king of frights. You can't scare me. That's kind of my job. <laughs> Mix them all together, and we have a heart. I love the symbols they have for the various emotions of a heart. Yeah. Man. I've never seen the movie, but I imagine that this feels like the movie feels. Because this oh. just feels like it belongs. It, Dude, this you feels see like it's Nightmare just for right. Christmas. It's so good. I know. I know. The visual but... aesthetic is so good in that film. I'm saying that, like, whatever this game is, it feels like it belongs in this world. Like, whatever they're oh, yeah, doing no, right like now. The, this all feels... I think the snake feels thing, like it, the snake it eating snakes, is actually in the movie Let's for some other reason. Memories. It's like some decoration. Oh, wow. Yeah, like, all the characters are right. They do that. This is so cool. Yeah. I, I love this world. It's so cool. I think this must have been the most uh, recent movie. The Disney movie that they pulled from, if I remember correctly. Hercules was the most recent. Oh, right, this came out before. I keep forgetting this movie's old. Hercules was in the 90s. Yeah, I keep for some reason I keep thinking this was like an early aughts film, but no, it's like mid-90s. Maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Donald's not happy. What a surprise. Yeah, I I just love him going, you have nothing to worry about, and Donald's like, are you for real? It's like, yeah. Are you for real? Like, seriously? It's like, bullshit! <laughs> I don't know what has got to work. Ah, oh, zero. Look at that little thing. Zero. Like even if even though I never saw the movie, this all felt like it made so much sense. Like this all felt like it fit. Yeah, it's totally consistent in the aesthetics. Uh, even though it's in the game, and it's pretty on point. Yeah. 
All we need now is your memory. I think they deliberately chose this world because it's so unique compared to the other Disney worlds and its aesthetic. I have a bad feeling it's just this. awesome. Why don't you try something else? I know, it's so good. You should talk about the story at some point, but I just want to keep talking about how good this all looks. Yeah. Don't worry about that when we get to the end. How this looks and animates. Yeah. Sally going, maybe this heartless thing is a bad idea. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, it's a bad idea. Yeah, Jack not caring, or at least, uh... Being ignorant of the problem is pretty much in line with this character from the. Film. I love this. Uh, I love that crab claw keyblade juxtaposed on Halloween Town. Yeah. <laughs> it really stands out a little bit. Oh, is it the kids? But I I like it. Lock, shock, and barrel. They went for Oogie Boogie. What should we do? <laughs> oh, children are the worst, aren't they? I hate all children. Who needs them? Yeah, they grow up, they become 15 years old, and they become <laughs> rival characters. It's just a, it's just a headache. It's like, son... You might as well kill them all before they get too old. Son, today's your 15th birthday. Now you must go find someone and oppose them directly, for you must be the rival character. Your last name has now become Uchiha. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of your 15 to 17. <laughs> then you become an adult to go back to normal, but those years are weird, man. Exactly. You gotta listen to a bunch of new metal all day. You gotta talk, you gotta spike your hair out, talk about how much you hate everything, and act super cool. But make sure not to be cool, I, just I just cool. love the idea of, like, the these kids having a drink, and then one person dying, and then someone goes, What happened? Someone else goes, I poisoned him. Like, why? And he goes, my last name is Uchiha. It's like, oh. <laughs> so you're... How old are you, 16? Uh, I see. Uh, I see. I sentence you to death. God, man. <laughs> Fucking, I just bet something. Let's talk about Naruto in this Kingdom Hearts primer. I was just wondering, I was like, I bet, how, I wonder how many people are like, why do they keep talking about Naruto? It's like, oh, don't worry. It'll come up for another reason. Don't worry. That won't, that will never make sense. Unless you watch all the content, or even read my content. It's, it's not related to this at all. It's just what happens when you work on, like, four projects at once. Start to overlap. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking little shit. That's Sasuke. <laughs> so good. That Riku Uchiha. Oh, Riku. Also, re my, one of my friends and I have been playing a lot of the Naruto fighting game. So that got me into Naruto again, and that caused all of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> What have we done? Again, these characters, these monsters used to have the purple and black palette, and again, it looks so much better than that they have color now. Yeah, god. It's hard to think that all the enemies have the same fucking colors in the original game. I know, just different shades of purple and black. And, and it just, this final mix that they, now they added color to them, it looks so much better. Of course, you'll notice if these enemies in the Colosseum, and like, there's apparently like a color filter on this world that makes it kind of look a little bit more dreary. Hmm. And without that color filter, they look even brighter than they do here. Damn. So I actually find that pretty interesting that they, that in order to make this to look a bit more like a movie, they had this little this dreary filter on like on the entire screen. And it still looks really good because man, this this world looks amazing. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. I'd say how you know, but like, who else would it be? Yeah. Come on. 
So we climb to the top of the tower and into the evil playroom and we beat the shit out of little children. Because that's what you do in a kid's game. Absolutely. To be fair, they deserved it. Oh, yeah. I always say they get, like, beat up a little bit in the movie, but I don't remember for sure. Been a while. Yeah, this is just like the movie. You shoot. This is just like the movie when they shot fire and thunder spells at them. Just like oh, the movie, yeah. right? It's exactly the same. It's more like Kingdom Hearts 2 than 1 in that respect. Just ripping that movie off. Hey, just so we're going fire style, fireball jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. <laughs> what was it? Uh, what is the finger one though? Thousand yard something? Thousand? Or am I thinking oh, of uh, the eye? I think ball that's just. Are you thinking, thinking of Kakashi's think... pervy jutsu? Well, there was that. Maybe I'm thinking of a thousand palm something that was for Neji. Oh. Oh, eight trigram, sixty four palms. Yeah. It's a Naruto. It's Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the greatest episode of this. Fucking you can get a lot of mileage. You you can get a lot of mileage comparing Sora and and Riku to Naruto and Sasuke. You can get a lot of mileage out of that. I'm not even kidding. Is this basically you saying? This it's is such an accurate comparison. In before you make your next article about the comparison between the two. Oh, oh, good God! I, I, I don't have the patience to, to, to deal with that much Naruto all at once. But I'm about to do with you. That's enough Naruto for me. <laughs> you good after that? I'll be good after that. So yeah, this is this is the the Oogie Boogie boss fight. This world actually goes by very quickly. Oh, yeah. Almost a shame that you can't spend more time in, in this world because it's so it's so good. Also, speaking I of love the... this boss fight. Yeah, we were just talking this about this boss uh, fight Ursula is not having so a good. But we went from no gimmick to like hell a gimmick, which uh yeah this this whole boss fight takes place in a get in like a a roulette wheel. Which again, um, uh, fun fact: this is actually from the movie. Uh, Oogie Boogie, like, oh, wow. he puts people on, like, roulette wheels and, like, gambles with their lives while singing. It's basically the whole deal. That, that's so good. Yeah, it's straight from the movie. It's great. So, yeah, he, he, he ate that heart to control the heartless, and all that came were these two gargoyles, and now he's pissed <laughs> off. It's the only two. Just Jim and Joe showed up and everyone else. Yeah. Bob and Alice. <laughs> but, yeah, this is such a good boss fight. I, I don't even believe it. Like, he shoots dice that explode, then he shoots actual dice. And you gotta try to, uh, line up where you are with where he is so that you can rise up and knock the shit out of him. Which means it's already a way better game with dice than Devil May Cry 4. Yeah. Like, this is such a great boss fight, though. This is one of my favorites in the game. It's pretty good. You can reflect the dice oh, back at him! He's not dice into him to do damage. That's a pretty good winning. That's amazing! That's pretty good. That's a good winning. That's a good finishing blow. Finishing blow reflects dice. Duke Devlin would be proud. Oh, we gotta dimension the <laughs> dice, everyone. <laughs> Speaking of projects, working on multiple projects at once. Oh, God. Oh, God. I can't wait to show you that. Oh. I'm sure Sam's excited <laughs> as I am. <laughs> Gotta edit all that audio. <laughs> and then I, which means, I just realized the best part about that is that I just have to listen to it. I don't even have to see it. So now that Oogie Boogie is dead, his soul has fused with his manner with the power of darkness. Why not? And this is actually another cool boss fight, where you were you were climbing your way up to Oogie Boogie's face, destroying the dark orbs around him, and you win once you destroy all of the all of the orbs of darkness that are holding this manner together. Okay oh, with that. So this is yeah, this is another really cool boss fight, honestly. Yeah. 
I like, I like it. This this world has some of the best boss fights in the game. <laughs> and I don't say that lightly. It's a hot platform. But I, I love the I love the sense of scale you get from climbing this tower. The sense that you are like ascending the top of this tower to defeat Oogie Boogie once and for all. Ascending Tartarus to, to defeat Nyx. I say like I didn't finish Persona 3, but I know how it ends, so whatever. Well, these days I'm gonna finish Persona 3. It's gonna happen. I still can't believe how much you like that game and the fact that you've never beaten it. I just can't wait till I finish it and then I just call you and I'm like, Brandon, Persona 3 is not that great. Just like the whole thing just crashes and burns in the second half. I I can't wait to hear that. Like you're gonna ping me one of these days, going, Brandon. I think you're right. King or Persona 4 is better than Persona 3. I don't know if like, I go that far. <sighs> Although I, I can't wait till I finish three and then I play Fez and I'm just like crying every day. Do you play one or the other? Don't play them both. I'm not sure I gotta that's, finish. That's, that... Not me. Fez is in the. Uh, sorry, the um. The answer, oh, the answer, the answer, not Fez. Well, Fez, but oh, the answer. Oh, don't do that either. Don't don't play that. That's awful. I don't know if we're going to finish I it, but I have to that. start it. Did you just watch it or read, like, read about it? Oh, I just watched I just watched the an, uh, someone post the cutscenes from the answer. Because it's, it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> Sally, but how will I know about the great Persona characters from Arena? Jack, we'll come up with but yeah, like, the keyhole is underneath... All of Ogie's manor that you had to get rid of the whole manor in order to seal it. <laughs> oh man, no more Heartless Halloween Festival. You get the pumpkin head keychain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love this world. This is such a good world. Mm-hmm. <laughs>